to we will create another zone which will be vlan zone where we will create the vlan zone if your all the nodes in the proxmox are supposed in the same data center or in the same physical location so you will be using vlan zone or you can use other zones also so how we'll create that uh, let me show you in the proxmox virtual environment so if you go to vlan zone so i'll give it a name vlan zone it will be bridged to virtual bridge the virtual bridge is vmbr0 as i mentioned in the vlan zone you will be creating the zone it will be bridged to either ovs bridge or the linux bridge so linux bridge in our scenario is vmbr0 so we'll be bridging it to that so we'll do vmbr0 mtu we will use auto for the time being and nodes will be all nodes so whether you want to have the vlan between these two nodes or you want to have between all nodes or for example you might be having hundreds of nodes here so which nodes you want to be part of this vlan zone so you will be choosing that i will choose for the time being all ipm it doesn't make any difference here anyone the dhcp is also not going to function here so you will not see any dhcp related information here so we'll be simply choosing uh, pve for the time being and click add so this vlan zone is now created i can create the vnets within this i will do vlan net one and zone will be vlan zone which vlan you want to tag here tag it 10 for example and vlan aware create if i don't mention any tag it will not allow me it will say me that vlan tag is missing so you need to provide the vlan tag tag it 10 for example and vlan aware create we will not create any subnet here you can create it if you just want to have for the information sake but we don't need to create the subnet here so now we have created vnet1 here which is part of vlan zone so we will now simply apply the changes by going here to stn and apply now this will be of course configuration will be saved across all the nodes and you will see here it will start populating here that vlan zone is created in psb1 it will be created in psb2 and it will be created in psb3 once it is created then we can use this vlan zone uh, for the virtual machines and these virtual machines then will be able to communicate with each other so these were two machines that we had one machine was here test it is on the vnet which is in the simple zone so i will just double click this and instead of vnet1 i will be choosing it to vlan net1 and what i'll do of course there is no dhcp server now so i will be uh, assigning the ip address manually here and its ip address will be for example 10.10.50.1 so i will just give it for the time being one and there is no gateway i will just click ok now you can see here this particular machine is part of now vlan net one as you have seen that i have not provided any tag here so why i have not done it i will just show you that as well and uh, now we'll go to the second proxmox node so in first proxmox node there was a machine where we have uh, linked it with the vlan zone and we will go here to another test machine here in the second node and in second node i will go to network in network i will simply assign it also the same uh, vlan net and here instead of dhcp it will be 10.10.50.2 of 24 bit network and i will not give any gateway here also so i will just simply click ok of course apply the changes or i will just simply reboot it and this one and here also it is rebooted now what happens that this node has this server or this machine i want to make sure that this is able to communicate so let me log in here so if i check the ipa so its ip address is 10.10.50.2 i will just ping it 10.50.1 so it is giving me response through the software defined network vlan zone so here also you can see if i go to this machine if i try to ping 10.10.50.2 so i'll just show you here ip a so its ip address is 10.10.50.1 so the ip address of other machine is 10.50.2 if i go back here to the software defined network if i click on zone if i double click this zone you will see here that there is no vlan related information available here but when you create the vnet here we have created vlan net 1 and we gave it a tag which is 10 and we also mentioned it is vlan aware it is already done so i can also go here to the network setting of the virtual machine or container i will simply click here and i will 
give a tag vlan tag for example this is 20 now this has a different vlan and this has a different vlan of course their communication will stop now you will see here so if i ping 10.10.50.1 so there is no response of course its ip address is 2 so 2 is of course this own ip address so 1 it is not giving response so ping ping 10.50.1 so what I need to do is that I need to, of course, find the same VLAN tag here to this network also of a second machine of the second node. So I'll double click this. I will assign 20 VLAN tag here. So same VLAN tag is assigned to this machine also now. Same VLAN tag is assigned to this machine also now. And their communication is possible. Packets are now received from this particular VLAN. Uh, if your VNet is VLAN aware, you can have multiple VLANs, of course. Another scenario could be the multi-tenancy environment. In that case, you will use QNIQ.